Hi, you too. Welcome to today's writing lesson. I know you've been used to me doing the maths, so really excited to be teaching you guys writing this week. Hopefully now you've watched Miss Head doing the actions because it's really important we internalise that text. We know where our full stops are going and we know the structure of our missing poster writing. Let me start by sharing my screen for today's lesson. So today we're going to be looking at the power of three. What do I mean by the power of three? Well, the power of three is when we list three items or things. I've never liked the word things, but three items, okay? We separate the first two with a comma and the last two with an and. And you might be thinking, what does that mean? But I'll explain that now. So here, I've got a witch's cauldron and I can say the witch wore a black hat, dusty robes and pointed shoes and pointed shoes. So the witch wore a black hat, comma, dusty robes and pointed shoes. So between the first two items in my power of three, I've named three things. Between numbers one and two, I have got a comma. OK, I have a comma. That separates the first two items in my list, in my power of three. It's literally just naming three things, okay? So the witch wore a black hat, comma, dusty robes. And then between my last two, between my last two items, I have a and. So between dusty robes and painted shoes, I have an and. So the witch wore a black hat, comma, dusty robes, and pointed shoes. Let's have a look here. The witch stirred her cauldron of frog's legs. There's my first item, comma, dragon's horns. Here's my second item. And so it must be going to my last item now, Mr. Wernick's coffee, okay? So the witch stirred her cauldron of frog's legs, comma, dragon's horns, and Mr. Wernick's coffee. So between item one and two in my list, I have a comma. And between item two and three, the final two, I have an and. Do not have a comma and an and. It's just an and, okay? There are very, 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 very rare exceptions where you may have a comma and an and, but you would not be doing that in year two. So between your last two items in your list, you have a and. Let's have a look here. Here's our picture of the girl from the book Wild by Emily Hughes. What have I left out? I've said the girl has wiry hair, enormous eyes, a caring smile. I'm missing three things from this sentence. Pause the video and tell me what I am missing. Pause the video and tell me what I am missing. Well, well done. Let's see if I agree. Well, the girl has wiry hair, enormous eyes, a caring smile. I've listed one, two, three things here. I've listed three things. Well, what do I have between the first and the second items in my list? Well done, a comma. And I've only got three. So what do I have between the last two items? Well done, I have a and and hopefully some of you also realize i was missing my full stop why do i have a full stop there because that's the end of my information that's one bit of information the girl has wiry hair enormous eyes and a caring smile okay i could have separated all three the girl had wiry hair full stop she also had enormous eyes full stop she finally had a caring smile full stop but I can merge those together to create my power of three using commas and an and. So the girl has wiry hair, enormous eyes and a caring smile. Ha. What we're going to be doing today is using this power of three in the appearance section of our text. We are writing an appearance section in our text. Really important uh, we follow though our steps to success. 
So you're going to describe her eyes, hair and skin. Great opportunity for power of three. What clothes is she wearing? Another great opportunity for power of three. And explain something surprising. And you might want to start that with although. So that's what we're writing today. Your first step on your piece of paper or in your book, sorry, will be to write those three steps to success because then you can tick them off as you go and you know you are following the correct structure for a, a missing persons poster. Really, really impressed. Remember, we're writing about this wild child. Let me now share my book and I will model what to do. So here we have our steps to success with some ideas here. So we've got her eyes, her hair, her skin. And here I've got some words you can use to help describe her eyes, some words you could use to describe her hair, and some words you could describe to you, describe her skin. Now year two, I do not mind if you want to pause after each step to success to go and write yours, or if you want to write the whole thing in one go. That's up to you. I will tell you when I finish writing each section and then if you would like to go and pause, you can. Remember, we are writing the appearance section. The first thing you need to do is describe her eyes, hair and skin. And this is the perfect opportunity to use the power of three. So describe her eyes, hair and skin. We've got some ideas here. So describe her eyes, hair and chin. So I'm going to go, I'm, before I start writing, I'm thinking. So this wild child has huge, huge, dark, huge eyes, comma, curly hair that goes down to her knees and spotty skin. Ha, OK. This wild child has huge eyes, curly hair that goes down to her knees and spotty skin hat. Think it, say it, write it. So hopefully you can see my screen here. So, and I'm writing up to the imaginary line. This wild child, look how most letters go up halfway. That's the imaginary line I tell my class about. Your eye should never be going beyond that really and if you do that and you get your letters the same size of each other it will always help your handwriting this wild child every word starts in the line this wild child has huge eyes comma because that's the end of my first item in the list has huge eyes curly hair miss the line curly hair that goes to her knees. And then I'm now, because I'm about to name my last item in the list, I need an and. And, and what should I go with? And, rosy skin and rose let's go with rose skin and rose skin ha. have i finished no i always read my work through as i go looking for mistakes have i got any missing words have i got a capital letter have i got a full stop let's check this wild child has huge eyes comma curly hair that goes to her knees and rose skin. Ha. Now I know we're basing our uh, writing on wild child, but if you tweak it a little bit, that's okay. We're following mainly the structure, that's the main thing, but the book is there to support you with your ideas. So if you change it a little bit, it is okay if you want to change where her hair goes to, or maybe the colour, I do not think that matters. So we've done the first section, okay? so. Already it's all ticked, I'll make it a nice big tick. And I use some of these words to help me. The next section, 
what clothes is she wearing? Now, I know when she rides off, she wasn't wearing any clothes, but I'm using the text as the base of my writing. And I'm going to have her with a bit of clothes so I can help with practice my power of three and my use of description. So here I've got some adjectives, ripped, ragged, colourful, stained, baggy. You might have your own. This is there to support some of you. I could talk about her jumper, her trousers, her shorts, her shoes, her jacket. And once again, I want to try and use that power of three. So mm, let me think. She is wearing, because it's present tense, she is wearing, and uh, we go, she is wearing ripped, ripped trousers. I'm going to go with a colourful jumper and some stained shoes. OK, so she is wearing ripped trousers, comma, a colourful jumper and some stained shoes hat. Right, now I can have a go at writing it. My big capital S. The way I see it, the capitals like to scare the other letters. That's how big it is. She is wearing, or she was last seen wearing. Actually, I quite like that. <clears throat> I'm not going to cross out that nice line with a ruler. I don't have a ruler, so I'm allowed to do this because I'm a teacher. You would use a ruler, obviously. She was last seen. She was last seen. Miss the line again. She was last seen wearing ripped jeans, comma. She was last wearing ripped jeans, comma. I said a colourful jumper. And it's easy. Once I practice orally rehearsing my sentence, I find it easy actually to write it. A colourful jumper. Every word starts on the line. A colourful jumper. And I have an and because I'm now it's not my last item. And some stained shoes. Shoes with marks on. And some stained shoes. Right now I have finished. Let me read it through. She was last seen wearing ripped jeans. Oh, dot my eye, so I always check. Ripped jeans, a colourful jumper, and some stained shoes. <gasps> I'm missing something here that I said in my when I when I practiced it. I missed my ha, my full stop. Okay, there we are. Now I've written the second section. OK, remember, if you want to, you can pause after each section or you can write it all at the end. OK, up to you. The last section is explain something surprising. And you might want to start with the word although like we did in our learn text. So although she is very small, she is extremely wild. Although she is only a child, she is incredibly loud. Although she's not the tallest, she is incredibly strong. Maybe you can come up with your own, but these are there to support some of you, OK? Hope it helps. So let me go to my green pen. So I'm Karen writing here. Although. So I'm going to go. Oh, let me. Sorry, I want to practice my sentence before I write it. How silly of me. Although she is very small, she is the wildest thing in the world world oh bit of hyperbole extreme exaggeration although she is very small she is the wildest thing in the world and that talks about a bit of her appearance so capital a scares the other letter a l t h o u g h i'm giving you that spelling if you use it please spell it correctly although she is very small, although she is very small, comma, although she is very small. If you forget the comma here, not the end of the world, but I kind of treat this like an, accent, an exciting sentence opener. So I have a comma after it. Although she is very small, start on the line, she is the wildest, nice suffix there, she is the wildest person, I'll go with person actually, person in the world, ha. And there we are.
there is a bit of my writing. I'll tell you one thing before I start talking about anything else. Uh, when I'm checking my work and I should always be thinking about, I write from the margin. Some of you have this thing where you start going in further and further to start each line. Look here. I start here and I write to the end of the line. Right, if I feel I'm not going to get a word in, maybe I just go to a new line. Anyway, have I finished? No, I read my work all the way through. OK, this wild child has huge eyes, curly hair that goes to her knees and rose skin. She was last seen wearing ripped jeans, a colourful jumper and some stained shoes. Although she is very small, she is the wildest person in the world. I can tick off the last thing. That is what you're going to be doing, OK? I am going to leave this on here now if you wanted to write it all the way through. So now you can have a look. Obviously, do rewind the video if you need to. So if you want the information, pause here. If you would like my writing, pause here. Some of you may have written it all already because you were going, doing one step to success at the time. Anyway, best of luck for your writing. Have a great time. See you later. Bye bye.